Have you ever felt a jolt of confusion? A glitch in the reality, you know? Like reality is just a bit too perfect, a bit too digital. Maybe it's because, well, it actually is. What if I told you there's a theory that explains it all? The simulation hypothesis proposes that our entire universe might be a computer program, no different from a video game. Buckle up, because in this video, we're cracking the code of this mind-bending theory, exploring the evidence for and against it, and diving into the shocking implications for humanity. Is our universe just a giant computer simulation? And if so, who are the players? We are exploring the arguments for and against this mind-bending theory and uncover the shocking implications it could have for everything we thought we knew about reality. Is your reality a carefully crafted program or the messy, unpredictable world we perceive it to be? The simulation hypothesis challenges us to question the very nature of existence. In this video, we'll be separating the code from the real and exploring the mind-blowing possibilities of a simulated universe. Imagine waking up tomorrow to discover your entire life has been a simulation. Mind-blown, right? Well, the simulation hypothesis isn't just about some crazy plot twist in a movie. Scientists are seriously considering the possibility that our universe is a complex computer program, constantly running and evolving. Are we just digital characters in a giant video game? Hold on to your virtual reality headsets, because we're about to explore the logic behind this mind bender. Philosophers like Nick Bostrom have proposed arguments that suggest the possibility of a simulated reality is surprisingly high. But is there any scientific evidence to support this theory? We'll crack open some complex physics concepts and explore the nature of our universe's fundamental laws. Could these be the product of an underlying code hinting at a simulated reality? While the idea of simulated universes might seem like science fiction, here are some who believe there could be a way to test it. Prepare to have your minds warped as we explore the theories of physicists like John Wheeler, who proposed the idea of it from bit, the notion that all of reality could be fundamentally information processed by a vast computer. Could there be glitches in the matrix? Signs that betray the simulated nature of our world? We'll be on the lookout for potential clues. From the strange behavior of particles at the quantum level, to the mind-bending implications of holographic universes. But what if we are living in a simulation? Does it change anything? Could the purpose of the simulation be something beyond our comprehension? The answer, like the universe itself, might be stranger than we can imagine. But before we start questioning the pixels in our morning toast, let's get down to business. We'll be putting on our thinking caps and diving deep into the logic behind this mind-bender. One prominent argument comes from Nick Bostrom, a philosopher at Oxford University, he proposes the simulation argument, which hinges on a thought experiment. Imagine a future civilization with the technological capability to create incredibly realistic simulations. Bostrom suggests that if such a civilization exists, and if they run a vast number of simulations, then it's statistically probable that we ourselves are living in one of those simulations. Whoa, right? Another argument comes from the sheer complexity of our universe. Physics is full of mind-boggling phenomena, from the bizarre behavior of quantum particles to the vastness of the cosmos. Could all of this complexity be the result of an underlying code? A program designed by a super-intelligent being? We'll explore this idea further, delving into the concept of it from bit, proposed by physicist John Wheeler. But hold on a second. The simulation hypothesis isn't all sunshine and virtual rainbows. There are also some strong arguments against it. In the next section, we'll be playing devil's advocate, exploring the potential flaws in the theory and the challenges of proving or disproving a simulated reality. Are we ready to face the glitches in the matrix? Okay, so the simulation hypothesis has us questioning the very fabric of reality. But before we trade in our avatars for real bodies, Let's acknowledge the challenges this theory faces. Are there any cracks in the code of this mind-bending idea? Some scientists argue that the sheer computational power required to run a simulation as complex as our universe might be beyond the reach of even the most advanced civilizations. Imagine the processing power needed to simulate every particle, every blade of grass, every thought and feeling in existence. Another criticism focuses on the nature of consciousness. 
If we're just lines of code, how can we explain the subjective experience of being conscious? Could a simulation ever truly replicate the feeling of sentience? Or are we missing something fundamental in the equation? Furthermore, the simulation hypothesis might struggle to explain the fine-tuning of the universe's laws. The constants of physics seem perfectly calibrated for life to exist. Is this just a coincidence within the simulation? Or could it point to a more fundamental reality beyond the code? So the plot thickens, while the